My name is Blanca Botero and I have been working painting for 20 years. This exhibit, Wish You Were Here, The Many Faces of Big Rock, it's all about looking in a new way at Big Rock. I wondered what it would be like if several painters, master painters, were here for a holiday and they were sending me a postcard of Big Rock. And they said, wish you were here, Vincent, as in Van Gogh. Wish you were here, Henry, Matisse. And through the process of looking at Big Rock in this manner, through their eyes and their styles, I was hoping that I would come to some new knowledge myself of the rock because you cannot imitate them. I mean, that's why they were masters. I found that the sun and light play a big part in what there is in the rock from an artist's point of view. If you look closely at it, it's amazing how the rock has several faces in it. They are right in the rock or they are profiles. It made me think of how the rock came to be there 10,000 years ago. I mean. It just gives me the shivers to think of how she came tumbling on the ice and, and she just plunked herself there. The rock is fading more all the time into our background because there are a lot of man-made, large structures being built around it. But when you get up and close and personal with it, it's still magnificent. And it still speaks of legend and myth. And it's like a cathedral in a way of the foothills. It looms way up above you. I think it has a spiritual life, as it were. It sort of makes you reach into yourself. There's a connection there between the sky and the earth and the rock, and you very little there. I started actually working with clay. And then one time I did a piece that was a wall piece and it was part clay and then I painted it. And I realized how satisfying painting was. I am inspired, of course, by everything around me, the landscape and everything, but, but even more, I'm, I'm inspired by ideas. I'm inspired by language and music. And, um, and when I take an idea, I tend to run with it and explore it in a series in many different ways. All I know is that I have to paint. Even if they didn't sell the paintings, it would be, it would be something that I have to do because that's where I am the most fulfilled and happiest. I love the blank canvas. I really do. I just, it just gets me so excited. It's just magic because you never know what's waiting there for you, especially if you're translating what's inside yourself. It's amazing what comes out. I think everyone, even if, though they don't know, they're doing it, they express themselves in a creative way. We are evolving and creating the world as we live our lives. Having original art, it just adds not just to your home, but to your spirit. It's you are. I think much closer to the artist and certainly to the subject. It's just a, um, a wonderful experience to look, just to look at art and realize what color and line does to us and the energy that it brings to a home and a room. In any way I could help to make a little bit of awareness about this magnificent uh, icon of our landscape. That I would consider the show a success. I thought of calling the show Big Rock Rocks. <laughs> and really what it is, is my journey into looking at something closely that I have always taken for granted. And we do that all the time, with not only with our landscape, but with people and with things around us. They just fade into the background, I think. So it's good to look at things closely, uh, very closely sometimes. And this is Big Rock.